As you know, we are Team Alchemy. We're based over at Us Creates uh, for the last 48 hours, building what we would like to present to you called the Career Change Challenge. I'm Pete. I'm 30 years old, and I've been a certified accountant for the last five years. But I hate my job. <laughs> I really do. The thing is, I'm not too sure it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, and I want to change. So I want the change, and I want to be a sexy web designer. But I don't know how. Hi, I'm uh, Simona, and I'm a web designer. Um, I'm not really sure this is really what I want to do, but I'm not sure what I do want to do. Uh, I really like uh, producing videos and sharing them with other people to tell them about how you can design websites. And I really do know a lot of people in the industry. Hi, I'm Kachacha. Very <laughs> Challenge. Simona is a hidden treasure uh, with a chest, of, a chest of knowledge of skills and connections for Pete. Equally, Pete has a wealth of information and experience for budding accountants. Wouldn't it be great if Pete met Simona for coffee? Wouldn't it be great if Pete could understand what kind of skills he needs to develop? Wouldn't it be great if Simona could teach Pete some basic HTML code? Now, Pete and Simona are just two people. In the UK, we've estimated that there's about 400,000 professionals between the age of 25 and 35 who are uh, looking to change their career at any one time. For my market research, we found that many people lack the knowledge, skills, and experience to feel confident in making the move. So, as well as connecting the two, wouldn't it be great for Pete to find a training course to develop those skills? Wouldn't it be great, even, or wouldn't it be even better if Pete was able to find a short-term internship to develop those experiences? Or for Simona, who's not sure what she wants to do, wouldn't it be great for her to be hooked up with a careers coach? We are going to offer a connecting service. There will be a peer-to-peer -peer element to it where you offer up your time to help others so that ultimately uh, the net effect is that everyone benefits. We would connect you to training providers and we can broker internships. The outcomes will be quite clear. The career changes will be better informed, upskilled, connected and more confident. The service will be free to the users. The majority of our revenue will come from commissions that we will earn as career changers take up training courses with uh, training providers. We've estimated, or conservatively, that maybe 1% of career changers might come to our service. And of those, if 1% take, uh, take up a training course, which average out at about £350, we can earn from that alone £1.4 million a year. But that doesn't also include perhaps charging a finder's fee for any of the businesses that uh, take up uh, some of our, um, to our, our career changes from the, on the back of the internships. Now these revenues we've calculated will more than cover the cost of designing and developing the website and also uh, the cost of hiring 10 people and the cost of the server. So, how did Pete and Simona get on? Well, what can I say, Simona? The last two weeks that we spent together job shadowing what you do has taught me so much. I'm a lot more confident about where I want to go and where I want to head, and I've also signed up for a basic online web course. I've even got a small idea about a business plan I want to do, and that's going to be using my basic accountancy skills, sorry, my accountancy skills, to help basic startups. Well, it was a pleasure, and um, I'll start, I'll keep on like putting the videos up. And um, also, because I met you for coffee, I've got a 20% discount on the courses listed on Kachacha. So I'm definitely going to use those in the future. So the incentives are clear. Career changes will come to Kachacha because they know that by, they can learn from each other and in so doing, uh, earn credits that, will be, that can be redeemed for training courses. Training providers will come to us because we have a pool of uh, potential customers. And employers will come to us, who are offering internships can come to us, because it allows them to talent spot. Now, we've only considered the service for the UK market, and specifically for professionals between the age of 25 and 35. Uh, Kachacha operations need the maintenance of the platform, and, reach, and some people to reach out to employers to broker those internship offers. 
We can scale this up to other countries quite easily. The site can be maintained here, but as we expand to the new countries, all we need is a small team in each of those countries to, uh, to manage the relationships between local training providers and businesses. And we can also reach out to other demographics. So that's our service, the place for career changers to be informed, upskilled, and connected. Let's say in three years' time you don't want to all work together and do this anymore. Who are you going to sell this business to at that point? So there's um, um, so what we noticed was there's a lot of um, a lot of websites out there that offer career services, but there's, none of them are really peer to peer. So I, I'm assuming that some of those might actually want to be market leaders and take on a service like this and differentiate themselves from from others. Thank you. There's, looking at your service, I can see why it's different from, from some of the other things out there, but have you looked at who your main competitors are and, and who's already trying to do this? Yeah, so like, like I said, we, so there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of career services out there, but none of them are really peer-to-peer. -peer. Now we've got LinkedIn, which um, it's meant to connect people up together, but not really. It, it, and anecdotally, we know from our experiences and also when we spoke to people in public, people, it's quite a static thing that most people use it for. So it's, here's my CV, essentially here's our CVs, and if people are so inclined, they will go and search for those. Um, and also, so sometimes people use that as a way of finding people at stages above them. We're much more of a peer-to-peer -peer thing. So, true. Um, what I sort of want to add to that is that some other websites are, it's not exactly peer-to-peer, -peer, but they are sort of offering mentors, so that is sort of a way of going peer-to-peer. -peer. We sort of want to add, um, add to that as in, you can just meet someone once, because we had lots of people saying when we went out on the street to do research, they said, well, I just want to talk to like lots of people that are in that industry, so they don't necessarily want to talk to one person all the time, they want to see like lots of people to get all of their information. So it's more based around those sort of touch communications where instead of going for mentoring what a lot of other websites are offering right that, now. That was going to be my, uh, yeah, like along the lines of my next question, which yeah, is traditionally when people go for career advice, they go to somebody more senior than themselves who can advise them and guide them where to go. What do you think the main benefits of people talking to their peers is? That we've talked honesty, uh, much more honesty available there. They, there's also an, an element of trust when it is a peer-to-peer -peer thing. We, we, on, on the website, we didn't manage to go into this, we're going to have rating systems and feedback <laughs> forms, uh, so different people can offer different things, like so I'm free for coffee, I can reply to an email, I can, you can job shadow me for a while. You get like that much more of a real sense of what it would be like to make that transition with, on a peer-to-peer -peer connection rather than a, I've been there, done that, this is what you've got to do. It's, it's much more real. I was wondering if you thought about um, how people in rural areas will be able to access this. So, great if you can meet up for coffee, but you might not necessarily know how you can change your career if you live in, in a rural area. Have you thought about how to connect people? So, yeah. Um when we envisaged this, we did think that it would be applicable to anyone. You know, I so I, I come from I don't I'm not from London. I come from Hull, which is uh, I don't know if anyone knows it, but uh, <laughs> so back and beyond anywhere. But um, you can still drive like an hour, and you can get to say somewhere like Leeds or Sheffield. Um, equally, you can spend an hour in London traveling from one side to another, which is like three, four miles. But if people can think about things um, in terms of how long it might take them to get there, instead of distance then this actually, there's no barriers there for people, if that's what you meant. Why did you choose the demographic that you shared there? Uh, yeah. um, we had, had a look, uh, maybe our personal experiences, and uh, we realized that as you get older, you get locked into a job and you may not actually know that you didn't want to do that job by the time you're 40. 
I think we're experiencing now a bit more self-awareness with career choices as you're in that 25, 35 age bracket, and we sort of dubbed it the early career crisis mode, <laughs> where you've just come out of university, you've got a degree in engineering or art and design or even service design, you get into the career stream for about three, four years, and you're like, it's not exactly what I want to do, so you need to change. And uh, we thought the early career crisis was that, that demographic from 25 to 35. So, can you guess what the last question is? <laughs> <laughs> Hands up. So, have you thought about where this goes next and how you might take this forward? Yeah. So we knew you were going to ask this question. Um, <laughs> and I guess it, the, the, fig the figures that we put up were very much based on estimates from a number of different sources. So we, we've used Wikipedia to find how many people are in uh, are in that demographic. We used some other sources from, um, did we reference We also, yeah, basically, how many people are dissatisfied with their jobs, etc. and then we came up with that figure. Um, we would need to actually number crunch those figures a bit more to see if it's actually something viable that we would be interested in doing, but yeah. yeah. So which one is the account? None of us actually. <laughs> that, but, and, um, this isn't Simona or Pete, these are like actors. Uh, Simona is not 27, uh, just, so, just so you know. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's great, thank you very much. Thank you.